after an incredible start to the season down at the coast in Corral, Chile. We've been driving up into the Andes, across the border and into Argentina. It's been quite a drive, but now we're here. What better to do than get an Argentinian steak, get some rest and get ready for the dusty ride and we're bound to experience tomorrow. It's no wonder the Argentinian flag is blue and white with skies like this. We're in Ciro Catedral in Argentina for the second round of the Enduro World Series. It's just 19 kilometers up the road from San Carlos to Bariloche, a resort with a permanent population just over 100,000. On the shores of Patagonia's largest lake, Nahuawapi, meaning Tiger Island, it's the location Barack Obama chose to holiday on on his recent trip to the country. There's beautiful views in all directions, as well as looking down at the ground for eyes like ours. There's dust everywhere. I've never ridden anything like it, and the riders are saying it's totally unique. It's beautiful, it's wild, and we're certainly in for a treat. One person that fell foul of the track in practice was Jared Graves. Did a bit of a scorpion on my last practice run of three and um, nothing's broken or busted in any way so um, that's good news and but at the moment I just sort of don't have any strength in my right arm and pretty confident it'll be, it'll be alright. So give it a week and I think I should be back on the bike 100%. Now that the riders have dusted themselves off after practice it's time to do it for real and we're ready to race. It's very, very physical in this sun. So as you can see, it was pretty hard to be done in this. <laughs> Lot of tight turner, you must push hard. It was pretty much a waste of time practicing, really. <laughs> There's nothing like we were training on. It's definitely going to be about like kind of knowing where you're going, but just really looking ahead and making sure you see those ruts that might be better. Than... Oh my god, that was the fastest! It's a very physical and hard stage to start the day. The fun of playing in dusty practice is replaced by riders finding it hard to keep the power output high enough to plow through it. Ravenel has that power and aggression to take this stage ahead of Coduria and the impressive Casey Brown in her first EWS. I feel good. No mistakes back. It's difficult, I like it. It was so deep. Had a little bit of a crash, like a really slow one, but it was okay. A wash machine. To compare the practice runs, the holes are just like three feet deeper. It's a pretty technical, so I guess it suits me pretty well. The ever-evolving tracks are proving a challenge, becoming like a motocross sand track with all the ruts and holes. It's rude leading again, but big news is the performance of newbie Lewis Buchanan in second, and Iago Gary pulls an impressive fourth out the bag. 
Tony Ferrero holds on to a strong start, sitting fourth in the GC. Ravenel is starting to look unstoppable as Corduria and the fast progressing Ray Morrison are a little behind her. In all the years you've been racing, have you ridden anything like this before? No, never. I am 40 since 25 years. Never, even in the track. All right, well, so I'm gonna crash at the top and I'll live another day. Well, I just blew it. Threw that one in the bin, so we'll see where we end up. It's been good. I mean, first enduro, I think I lucked out and got a good one. Like, it's apparently the enduro for downhillers. Loving the conditions. I mean, it's just loose and wild, and that's how I like to ride most of the time. When you are like the same speed as the rider in front of you, there's nothing you can do. You can't see anything. Yeah, really good. Just go with flow and pedal hard in the sessions. Man, I'm happy with the run. In clear sight of the finish, it's drama on almost every run. Crashes and loose riding galore. Ravenel is visibly quicker than most of the field and Tony Ferrero holds onto the horse on this wild track for his first ever stage win, moving himself up into third in the GC. Buchanan crashes, but still salvages a seventh. The lifts are now closed, as you can see, and it's the end of the first day's race in here in Ciro Cathedral. What an incredible day it's been. We've seen some wild crashes and even wilder saves out there in this crazy dust. But at the end of the first day, nothing has changed in terms of performances. It's once again Richie Rude flying high, but Martin Mays pretty close behind him, just 4.4 seconds back, and he is going well on these tracks. Then in the women's, it is Cecile Ravenel running away with it. She's won all three stages and is a clear 40 seconds up on nearest rival, Isabeau Corduria. So let's look forward to some hot racing again tomorrow. It's day two, the sun's out once again and the riders are lining up behind me to depart for the final three stages of this event. I just got a cheeky slap on the ass from Richie Rood on his way through the pits and no wonder he's in high spirits. He's leading another round of the World Enduro, so let's see if him and Cecile Ravenel can hold on to add this round to their first round wins. Because I sailed the whole winter with that bike with a hand broken so I just try to push hard, I crash a lot. It's uh, really, really, really difficult. I catch uh, quickly uh, the dust of uh, Anneke. Not good, not good at all. Been feeling pretty miserable on the bike. I bit the old champ on the stage, so my weekend's done, I'm happy. The clean sweep through the dust continues for Ravenel. Blinkinsop takes his second ever stage win and first of this event. Ahead of his good mate Rude and Maze is keeping them both honest and only loses a second to Rude in the overall. Ferrero crashes and his chain comes off, so he slips back a little. The dirty old dog Gracia racks up an impressive fifth, whilst compatriot and 2013 champ Clemence has his strongest stage in fourth. The best mechanic in the world, gonna have to swap two tires in less than 10 minutes. Push that. Uh. Yeah, even time for ball track, chain loop. As I said, might even have time for an espresso, you know? Always time for espresso.
Actually, it was good fun. I think it was pretty good benefit to take that uh, aerodynamics time. <laughs> I had such a bad start to today as well. Like this whole weekend, just finding the flow has been so hard. That fifth stage was uh, a bit flat. <laughs> uh, I tried to pedal everywhere and had a clean run. You're either pedaling to keep up in speed, or you're pedaling because you blew out a corner, or you're pedaling because it's a big hill. The fifth stage is certainly a leg burner, but Rude shows he's the full package of power and skill, nailing it home with a six second win over the powerful Francois Bailey Maitre, giving Rude 13 seconds over Mays in the GC. Blenkinsop isn't quite as strong on the pedals, but maintains a healthy third in the overall. It's Ravenel owning it again in the women's, but Casey Brown shows she also has the fitness to match her talent. Only six hundredths back for second on that stage. But now it's all back to the steeps with a lift to the top and a ferocious downhill track to round off the weekend. Blenke gets another stage to wrap up the weekend. Mays said before heading up that he was going to push for the overall win, which he did, but with a solid ride from Rude in fourth, his lead was insurmountable. Casey Brown rounds off her first EWS with a stage win, the only woman to get one over Cecile Ravenel this weekend. It's Ravenel and Rude making it two from two. Martin Mays was the most consistent we've seen him, with a second or third on every stage. Blenkinsop, Ferrero and Lowe impressively round out the top five. If it hadn't been for two really disappointing final stages, Lewis Buchanan could have also been up there. Whilst there's a good battle developing in the women's behind Ravenel, with Brown, Corduria, Toma and Morrison handling the challenge as Beaton had a disappointing weekend by her standards. <laughs> Voy a colgar de la aurora para que escuches mi verso. Cecile, another storming performance from you. Congratulations today. How tough was it? Really changeable conditions. Yeah, it was a awesome ride. When you try to find the floor, it's really cool to ride in this condition. I try to find a pleasure and to ride safely and uh, it was a, a good uh, weekend for me. Big congratulations, Richie. That's two in a row. <laughs> You're riding high, man. Thanks, man. Yeah, I don't know. Just like, must be feeling good. Just riding to my, like, the speed I know I can ride at. And I don't know, it was frustrating all weekend trying to, like, stay in the routes and everything, all the courses. But I don't know. I guess I'm just, like, riding good and I'm kind of confident in myself. Not bad for a part timer, eh? You're coming in third this weekend. Uh, how are you finding this enduro lark? Yeah, pretty good. Um, I guess this, this week kind of suited me a little bit better than uh, last week because I didn't know where I was going. Last week I was kind of thinking the bigger pictures, uh, the World Cup in uh, two weeks, so I was thinking about that a little bit last week and then this week I, you, when you kind of know things where you're going, you can like have a little bit more risk and yeah, yeah you get away with it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so we got Patagonia on the go and um, it's been a good time for you in Patagonia. Yeah, it's been awesome, loving it. I mean. It kind of suits my style, a bit wild and 
loose and, ter and the terrain, so it's good, yeah. I think it takes just a bit of like, kind of knowing the limits of where you can push and knowing wh where to hold back and kind of just, you know, trickle your way down and be safe about it because things can go sideways pretty fast when it's like that. Martin, another great weekend for you, another really strong second place and you're pushing on at Richie. Great riding these last couple of weekends. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked. You know, I've been riding consistent, which is like the main thing for me because I've been, I've been riding fast in the past, but never really consistent. Chilling down here in the sun, how have you enjoyed it? I really liked those two weeks and I feel I did quite okay with two podiums and two third place, so I'm really happy with that. How do you feel about the series that it's able to take us to such a large variety of tracks? I mean, that's the beauty, I think, of Enduro. From one weekend to another, we had completely different conditions. One was really tough physically, and this one was probably the most technical we ever had. So, I mean, that's great to have such a variety. Rude and Ravenel extend their leads. In the women's, Cordurio and Beerton now tied in the series for second. Ray Morrison is taking a consistent grasp of the top five. Mays is sure to be keeping Richie on his toes all year. Clemence and Vulios swap positions and Tony Ferrero launches himself into sixth. It's GT who take the team win this weekend, but it's Lapierre, Gravity Republic who hold on to the series ranking with Adrian Daly, Nicolas Vulios and Ray Morrison. That's the last day of Patagonian magic. The eye of the storm was a little dust tornado. The riders have gone through, the cavalry's moving on, and until the next round, Cecile Ravenel and Richie Rood are your series leaders. We'll see you in Ireland.